Now continuing with this adhikara of Tajila, Tadharma, Tadsadhukarishu, which we started from 3 to 134. Let us take the sutram 3 to 163, which says in Nash Ji Sartibhya Kwarap. It's a very simple sutram. All it says is that following one of these verbal roots, following one of these four verbal roots, the affix Kwarap may be used to denote an agent who does an action because of his nature or habit or his sense of duty or family tradition or because of his skill. He is good at doing that. So the verbal roots are as follows. The first one is in gatau, which we all know very well from the adadiganaha. Second one is nash, which in the dhatu part is nasha adarshane in the divadiganaha. Of course, the beginning nakara of this verbal root takes the dantya nakara deshaha by no naha. 6165. So in usage, the verbal root becomes nash. The third one is g in the bhavadikana, which is g jaye, which means to be victorious, or g abhivave, means to conquer. And finally, the fourth one is sru, which is sru gatau, also in the bhavadikana. So following any one of these four, the affix korap may be used in the sense of tachila tat dharma tat sahaduka. So let's take one example here. Let's derive the form jit. Varaha, Jitvaraha, Vigravakyam is Jayati, Tachilaha, Tadharma, Atava, Tad Sadukari, one who is victorious or one who conquers, as is that's his nature, that's his habit, or he does that as his sense of duty, or he's good at that, he's skilled at being victorious or conquering. So that is the form Jitvaraha in the masculine. In the feminine, the form is Jitvari. Well, let's derive both of these forms. Let's start with adding this affix corrupt to his verbal root G by the sutram 3 to 163. Parini specifically mentioned this dhatu G in this sutram. So we start with G plus Kwarap. Now, Pakarasit Sanyaba Halantyam and Kakarasit Sanyaba Lashakvat Diteta Syalopaha. We get G Vara. Remember that Kwarap is a kit Pateha, so that enables 115 Kini teachers to stop Nigunade Shaha in place of the Ikara of G, which would have been done by Sarvadhatakar Dhatakayo, that is stopped by Kini teacher. And now this Pratyaha Vara has a sanya of Ardhatukum by Ardhatukum Sheshaha. 34114 and it could take the Iraga by 7 to 35, which is Arzat Kasyed Valadehe. But this affix Vara begins with a letter of the Vash Pratyaharaha, which is the Makaraha. So therefore, Ned Vashikriti, Ned Vashikriti. 7 to 8 prevents vara from taking the iraga maha no matter what the dhatu is to which vara is added regardless of the verbal root to which vara is added vara cannot take the iraga maha because of ned vashikriti because this vara is a krit pratyaha it has a krit sanya but krit thing and it begins with a vakara which of course is the letter of the vash pratyaha raha so ned vashikriti 7 to 8 stops the iraga maha which would have been done by arthadhataka syed valadehe in this case Dhatu G is also Anit Dhatu, but we don't have to look at that. Because regardless of the verbal root, this this Pratyaha Vara cannot take the Ragama because of 7 to 8. And now comes the Tuk Agamaha by Rasvasya Pitikriti Tuk. So now we understand one of the reasons why Panini has used a Pakara as the It in Kwarap to enable the Tuk Agamaha to come. This Ikaraha of G takes the tuk agama by rasvasya pitikriti tuk because ikara is rasvaha it is followed by a krit pratyaha which is vara which is a pit so therefore we get a tuk agama for the ikara which joins after the ikara as per adyanta utakita because the tuk is a Kit Agama joins after the Ikaraha. Anubandha Lopaha, Ukarasit Sanya by Upadeshe Janana Sikait, Kakarasit Sanya by Halantyam, Tasya Lopaha, we get Jitvara. We get the Pradhibhidika Sanya by 1246, Krit Tadita Samasascha. Now Jitvara is an adjective, so it will go in all three genders, and Pullinga will decline like Rama Shabdaha. So Pullinga Prathama is a question which Jitvaraha. Now in the feminine, what happens is that when you take Jitvara, we have to add the appropriate Stri Pratyaha and recall the long Sutram 4.115 which says Tidhanai Dvaya Saj Dagnai Matrach Tayap Thakthai Kain 
Kwarapaha. So Panini specifically mentions the affix Kwarap in that sutram. So since we have used this affix Kwarap to derive the form Jitwara, when we have to use it in the feminine gender, we have to add the affix Nip by 4.115. So we have Jitwara plus Nip by 4.115. Pakarasit sanya by halantyam, Nakarasit sanya by lashakata jiteta silopaha, we get jitvara plus e karaha. The angam jitvara gets the bursanya by yachibham, yachibham, because pratyaha neep is a swadi pratyaha. Swadi pratyaha means any pratyaha which is, which is prescribed in this section from 412 to the end of chapter 5. Since we are using 4115, neep is a swadi pratyaha, so that enables the angam jitvara to get the bhasanya by yachibham because e kara is a ach. So jitvara gets the, the angam jitvara gets the bhasanya by yachibham that allows Yes, ye teacher to remove the ending akaraha to the lopaha the ending akaraha of the angams we get jitvar e because yes, ye teacher say that if you have an angam ending in the avarnaha or the e varna, in this case the avarnaha which is followed by the didapratyaha or by e karaha in this case the e karaha if, if the angam has the bhasanya then that ending avarnaha or e varna, in this case the avarnaha Akaraha takes lopaha, we get jitvar e, jitvari. So that is the form in the feminine. This is the important fact to remember that this affix kwarap is listed specifically in 4115. So we have to use the affix unip in the feminine.